her all I needed, bad, then now I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Yeah, she said I didn't change. I said, you just stay the same. Swear she used to have a plan. So 40% of the people who are watching these videos, uh, they're subscribing to the channel and 60% of the people like I think they're not subscribing to the channel. So I mean, it costs nothing. So please consider subscribing. You guys have been following my channel for a long time. You know, I am a MacBook Pro user from so many years. Uh, I bought MacBook Pro M5 last year. So that's been great. Uh, this MacBook Air M4, I bought it, I think, it's been over six months, I don't know the exact time, but it's been over six months. When I bought it, I was actually looking for a light setup because MacBook Pro M5, it has like M5 chip and it's a pro lineup. So they're those laptops like always super heavy. So this one is like really, really lightweight. Uh, so that was the whole reason I was looking for a laptop that can be really uh, lightweight and get uh, be more productive and get my work done, you know, even because I like to travel a lot. So I want a laptop that doesn't feel like a huge thing sitting in my backpack. So I was looking for something lightweight plus the performance too. So since I am like in the Apple ecosystem, so I was looking for something in MacBooks. I didn't want to spend over $2,000 because MacBook Pros are like really, really expensive. Uh, this MacBook Air M4 is sitting in the stores like around $1,000 in some of the stores. So I think it's a little expensive in Apple stores, but if you check around like different stores, you will get a really, really decent price. If you guys have MacBook Pro lineup, you know those laptops are really expensive. And first of all, like they're really expensive. And second, they're really, really heavy. Like you can't travel with it. Like if you put it in a backpack, you're gonna feel like you're carrying a brick. This laptop was an experiment because I was quite curious how this laptop is gonna perform in front of MacBook Pro. Let me tell you guys about the specs first, like what kind of laptop do I have? So I bought 13 inch model with 16 gigs of unified memory and the base 250 gigs of SSD. I knew 250 gigs of SSD wasn't a lot, but I mainly work off external hard drives anyways. So storage was not a deal breaker for me. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the first few weeks with this laptop was a little harder because when you've been using the MacBook Pro for years, you know, you get used to certain experience and it becomes a muscle memory. So switching to MacBook Air, it just feels a little different. Like when you're used to that smooth scrolling and fluid animations, you know, going back to that 60 Hertz display, it just feels downgraded. And on top of it coming from a Pro, you know, you're used to having more ports and not thinking twice, like what's plugged in. But with the air, you suddenly become more aware of these limitations. First few weeks, I was comparing every single thing with my MacBook Pro, you know, because mental adjustment is a little harder than the actual performance. But I feel like over time, things start to change. Like, you know, you start to feel like it's a, not a downgrade, but more like a different tool. So just give it a few weeks if you're coming from MacBook Pro. Good quality. Uh, you can see like this laptop, it looks really, really premium. I mean, it doesn't, matter if it's a like entry level macbook i mean some people think like the quality might be cheaper for the entry level laptops but apple actually really nailed the design and the build quality because it looks exactly like macbook pros i do have macbook pro m5 so it the quality it's similar and you can see like i can even hold it just with two fingers it's really really lightweight and i think the macbook air has like four different colors i chose this one midnight so it looks different in every single lighting so in this lighting is looking it's giving it a greenish tint no i think bluish tint. not just about like how light it is but even the design tool you can look at the curves it's not way too sharp uh, it has like curved edges and the design is perfect if you guys are university student or like you know college student go for 13 inch model you guys are gonna love it because 15 inch i think is gonna be little heavy and plus it's gonna be a little bulky and big so it's actually so thin so with the thinness i used to feel like it's gonna be less durable but it's not a problem uh if you're coming from a macbook pro you can definitely gonna feel a difference because macbook pro is like really rigid so you can open with one hand but macbook Air like you have to give a little sport on the back so you can open it up so just make sure if you're sitting uh, in a kitchen or like on the desk uh, just always like put your hand in the back of this laptop so it doesn't fall so since we are talking about the design uh one thing you have to keep in mind this laptop doesn't have any cooling fans so it's completely silent and fanless which is like great most of the time but it also means this machine gets really hot uh, during heavy task so you can't just rely on active cooling so if it heats up like the performance will throttle for sure 
and you have to wait until it cools down before it gets back to speed. I mean for the normal use it rarely happens but when you start using the Adobe Premiere it gets heat up really fast. If you can see I'm sitting right beside the window. So if you're sitting in a setup, you know, if you're sitting in your house, you're not gonna feel any difference because you are like you can control the lighting, but if you're sitting outside, you can definitely gonna need more than 500 nits of brightness because 500, I think it's not a lot. Like you can see it's full, but yeah, it's still feeling a little really low. So if you're looking for a laptop for professional stuff, like, you know, for photography or like, you know, creative stuff, then I would suggest to go for a MacBook Pro because it has thousands of brightness. So you can definitely use that. And movies and the stuff you guys like won't even feel a difference because it just feels same. But for professional work, you definitely need more than 500 minutes of brightness. But the one thing you guys have to keep in mind if you're coming from macbook pros you might gonna miss few ports because uh, macbook air has only two usb-c ports and it doesn't have any memory card slot so you guys have to keep in mind if you are a content creator that's gonna impact a lot because as for myself like as a content creator like i don't need any extension i don't need to spend any money so macbook pros has this memory card slot Reader already like pre-installed in the laptops so that's something you will miss in these you have only two two usb-c ports and a headphone jack if you want to use the memory cards or something like that then just buy one extension from amazon like that costs around 20 to 30 dollars i used to have it before macbook pro if i put if i try to put in like in my bag i have a space for like almost three three fingers so I feel like if you have any sort of bag, like, you know, even a camera bag or like any school bag, you can easily put the 13 inch model uh, MacBook Air in your bag. Again, like 13 inch model, I don't know about the 15 because 15 is, of course, is going to be huge. I need to know everything, who and what and where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. If we talk about the performance, overall it works really well for what this laptop is meant to do. Uh, like editing photos in Adobe Photoshop feels super smooth. Um, Lightroom works great too. And even when it comes to like the colors and the previews, uh, it honestly feels very close to the Pro series. For the photo work especially, it never actually felt limited to me. Like most of the time, everything responds the way you expect it to. Okay, now this laptop is actually not perfect because when you start running multiple applications at the same time, uh, you will notice some lag here and there. So especially when things get a bit heavy, uh, but for regular everyday use, the experience is pretty smooth and reliable. Okay, one thing I want to be clear though is the video editing part. Uh, yes, you can edit videos on this, but this laptop is actually not built for video editing, uh, especially for have your long projects. Uh, so yeah, for the photos and the general work, this is great. But if the video editing is a big part of your workflow, this is not the right tool. It lags a lot. I mean, I would not lie to you guys because I have this laptop for more than six months. I experimented a lot and I don't even want to show you how the timeline looks because it lags. It lags a lot. If you're looking for a good laptop, you know, for the multitasking and for the photo edits, this laptop is great. The laptop is not built for video editing because it doesn't even have the fans and it lags a lot, especially if you're editing in 4K. So a few of the things I learned about this laptop in a hard way, uh, like I tried to edit 4K footage, like 4K project in MacBook Air and it just lags. 4K footage especially, it's gonna lag a lot. So, but if you have like 1080p or like 720, then you can definitely add it. It's not gonna be any problem. But if you have 4K footage, then this is not the laptop. Another thing I noticed, like if you use any Adobe products in MacBook Air M4, then I don't know, it drains the battery so fast. I don't know, it might be just a software optimization. If you're just using this laptop for like scripting or like YouTube stuff, 
watching Netflix, then it's not gonna drain the battery so fast. So it, I think it might be just Adobe products. Works around six to seven hours with heavy workload. And if you just using it for assignments, I think it stays up to nine to 10 hours. I think it's pretty average, not so great, uh, not so low. I mean, you're a content creator or you're like, you work professionally, then I would suggest to invest in MacBook Pro because they're high specs because MacBook Air, like you can't upgrade and the MacBook Pros have 120 hertz of the refresh rate. And you know, when you get the hang of like the promotion, you can never go back. So that's something you will feel right away when you will switch to MacBook Air from MacBook Pro. I know the Pros are a little expensive. So if you don't want to spend so much money to, you know, just look something in the used market, you can easily find M1 Max or like M1 Pro uh, on such a good cheap price and you won't be disappointed but if you buy this laptop for everything like even for the video editing too uh, you will be disappointed because this laptop is not built for like video editing and it does heat up when you try to do the video editing i mean even if you if you just open the project and you just start editing this it's gonna start it's gonna start heating up another thing like the colors on macbook pro and yeah, they are like pretty much same. So there's no difference in the color. So you don't have to adjust any colors. Uh, but other than that, yes, this laptop is good for light setup, but not for like heavy workload. Uh, you will be disappointed. So yeah, that was my experience from the last six months. If you guys want me to make another video after a few months, I can definitely do it. Uh, but so far, I'm impressed with the performance. It does work like exactly I want it. It depends like what you guys are looking for. And if you guys still have any questions, you can shoot me text on the Insta or you, or you can leave a comment. I would love to help you guys. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.